Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a update on what is known as the Heartbleed computer flaw or a bug that has been discovered um, a little more than a week ago now. What is the status now of Heartbleed? Um, you know, lots of uh, false information at first, lots of uh, uh, panic, lots of uh, things were said. Now, a little more than a week, we have a better picture and actually um, one of the videos that I would recommend to anyone that's a, a little more techy um, on the Twit network, uh, live.twit.tv. You have um, actually a show, you can get it through iTunes also. A show, a show called um, Security Now with um, Steve Gibson and uh, Leo Laporte. Um, this is a must, a must uh, view episode where we're going to talk about Art Lead. And, um, well, things are bad. They're not as bad as we thought. And, um, one of the first things that actually makes us think that it's maybe not that bad at first, even though it's been there for two years. In the hacker community, it seems that nobody, nobody knew about the, that flaw. Usually in the hacker community, when something happens, a flaw is discovered, it pretty much the reaction is quite fast and it goes through the internet. This seems to really be a flaw that nobody knew about. And um, even the NSA that usually, you know, there's a branch of the NSA that searches for flaws everywhere because that's the way they can view, uh, you know, information, personal data. Uh, they say that they didn't even know. So um, it's kind of interesting for that. So that kinds, it's kind of a little, you know, a good news because it means that if somebody knew, um, well, they were really quiet about it. But once again, if somebody knew, they were able to steal a lot of information. Now, the other update is a lot of people, um, first reports were saying, oh, wow, they can actually access all of a computer, uh, a server, and, and so on. Uh, no, they cannot. The only thing that this flaw does is actually lets a user or a hacker get 64K or 64 kilobyte of information in the memory of the server at a time. So 64K is not very big and to actually steal your password and username a hacker needs to actually access the 64K of memory where you are actually at the time using the computer. So it means that if you haven't logged in, for example, to your bank account in the past two weeks, uh, they cannot discover your password because by the time they fix the flaw, you did not access the computer and that's the key point is that to get your password you need to access the computer that's infected or not infected but you know that has that security flaw so this means that it limits probably a lot the number of users that actually got information stolen the password username um, but that said, anyone that accessed bank, uh, your bank account through the internet, anyone that accessed email, uh, Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that, in the past week, um, I think you should change your password uh, on all of those. And, uh, you know, we're April 15th today. I think starting, let's say today, it's probably safe to say that most major banks and websites have 
updated their OpenSSL, especially because it's a very easy, uh, actually the upgrade or the patch to fix this is extremely easy to do. Uh, if you're a Outlook or Hotmail account user, well, be happy you are not in a problem with this because Microsoft uses its own security features, which is not vulnerable. So uh, pretty much everything that Microsoft signed is safe. What I recommend is that starting now, April 15th and on, I think it's safe to say that changing all of your passwords on all of your services is a good etiquette. It's a good um, digital hygiene, as uh, I've heard of this term on uh, Leo Le from Leo Laporte, which is pretty cool. So uh, up, update your passwords, change them, and uh, make sure that um, you know you change everywhere. I know it's a pain in the butt. I have 11 email accounts. I have Facebook, Twitter. I've got lots and lots of places where I need, you know, the banks. Lots of places where I need to change. But if you want to be on the safe side, it's important to do it. So uh, why not go and change your password everywhere? And uh, so this is pretty much the news and, um, you know, how this affects everyone. And as time goes on, while well, things are getting better, the only maybe the websites that I would be scared of are, are sites on, you know, very small servers owned by com very small computers that don't really have a tech department. And uh, I think that could be uh, something to apply. So um, that could be scary because a lot of them might not update. But apart from that, everywhere else, I think it's safe to say that now, uh, you know, Things are getting better. So uh, change your password everywhere. Google, uh, Yahoo, Facebook, Twitter, your banks, uh, PayPal, eBay, all of that. And uh, I think you're safe from now on as these major companies have updated their uh, security. And hopefully everything is going well. This is going to be the last update for the Artbeat art bleed uh, flaw or bug unless something new comes up that's very very important but uh, apart from that um, there's not going to be any updates here so hope uh, you guys are all okay and um, change your passwords and I think everything's gonna be cool if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe and you will be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a feature of Windows 8 that you'd like us to make a video of, why not ask and we'll try to put that video online and hopefully you'll come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.